An officer at this RCMP detachment described the behaviour of a dozen of his colleagues as atrocious, telling his bosses about harassment and text chats on police computers and private devices. A search warrant that is part of an internal investigation obtained by CBC News details one officer allegedly bragging in a private chat about using his taser on people who were black and they were unarmed, and in another chat saying, I just racially profile pulled over a car. And the warrant details in-person conversations too, with an officer accused of saying Indigenous members of the community all have fetal alcohol syndrome and that they wouldn't go to the reserve because we're not going to help those people. It's absolutely unacceptable. It's not a culture we expect uh, or accept anywhere, frankly. BC Solicitor General in charge of policing says he was briefed this morning. There is uh, a full internal uh, disciplinary process underway uh, and I expect that that will be thorough and there may well be very serious consequences that flows from that. Consequences not just for officers, but potentially triggering a review of the investigations they were involved in. About cases involving domestic violence and sexual assault, the warrant says one officer called a complaint stupid, that the victim was a dumb Mexican C-word, and that he was going to write it off without investigating further, and called another victim a dumb effing bitch, should have worn a mouth guard. It's disgusting and uh, unfortunately all too predictable. This advocate says she knows of cases at this detachment she believes were mishandled. We know that many are RCMP members, we see that in our own work, uh, harbour ideas that are not uh, conducive to effective investigations and to caring about victims uh, and survivors. And while some experts say these actions don't represent most officers, the force is struggling. They're competing with other police agencies for good people and sometimes they hire people that shouldn't be police officers. Susanna, what's happening to the officers involved? Well, three of the officers have been suspended since June of 2021. The Solicitor General couldn't say whether or not they are still being paid, but at this point it appears they are the only ones facing a code of conduct hearing that was supposed to start this week but has now been delayed until March of next year. But there are concerns that the evidence from those private chats won't be admissible because an RCMP officer who was supposed to submit a form to the judge about the evidence within one year said he, quote, forgot, and it didn't happen until 27 months later. And you sent an email to the RCMP today, uh, and they've just replied. Yeah, they call the allegations shocking and disturbing, but wouldn't speak in any more detail about the case, but did say they have made changes to handle disciplinary issues more quickly. Ian? Susanna De Silva in our Vancouver newsroom.